Hallo liebe Schüler, herzlich willkommen zum Videounterricht Nummer 4. Das Thema heute ist Perfekt mit trennbaren Verben und Perfekt auf ihren. So, our topic today is Perfect with trennbare Verben and Perfect with Verbs that have the ending ihren, like telefonieren. Du brauchst dein Heft und einen Stift und dein Handy für Fotos. So, a lot of you are sending me a homework now, which is great. And because we have already had three lessons and this is number four, I'm asking you to now always write which homework you're sending. This helps me a lot, okay? So, write like this, liebe Frau John, hier sind meine Hausaufgaben Nummer vier. Liebe Grüße, Dogun. If you're sending all the homework, please write Hausaufgaben Nummer 3, 2, 1, etc. Okay? And then some of you are sending me emails and you're trying to write the email, which is great, but you're not writing it correctly. If you write it like this, uh, you write send your homework, your my email address, send your homework123 at gmail.com, and then below is where the topic goes. That's not where you write the text of the email, okay? So please don't do this. Um, the correct way to write it is below in the next box. Okay, it goes below. So what goes in the first box is your email address, my email address, and the second one is the topic. So please write your name, class, and which homework you're sending, Hausaufgabe Nummer 4, you can also write in English, homework, but if your parents are sending it, but try to write like this in German. And then below in the bigger box, this is where you send the actual text of the email. Okay, so please note that this is the way how to do it. One more thing that I need to ask you is to please send me good pictures of your homework. Some of you have really crooked pictures or there's some information missing, so make sure it's uh, there correctly so I can also grade it correctly, okay? Make sure to label your homework. This is just like in a regular class. Please write Hausaufgabe Nummer 4 at the top and then write Aufgabe 1, Aufgabe 2, and so on, okay? I have gotten so much homework where I need to figure out which exercise is which. This costs me a lot of time. Please label it correctly, Aufgabe 1, Aufgabe 2. If you do not do this from now on, I will not accept your homework anymore and I will ask you to correct it and send it to me again. Also, please write everything in your notebook and not on like single pieces of paper. Um, it's just like a regular class. You're sitting in front of a computer. That's the only difference. The rules are still the same. You have your notebook and you write everything for my class in your notebook. And if you decide to print out the homework sheets, that's fine but please keep them, file them in a folder and keep all the homework sheets. Okay, so let's get started with today's lesson. Was lernen wir heute? Wir wiederholen perfekt und wir lernen perfekt auf ihren und perfekt mit trennbaren Verben und zum Schluss üben wir. So, es geht los. Wir wiederholen das Perfekt. Es gibt vier Kategorien für das Perfekt, okay? Wir haben schon gelernt, regelmäßige Verben und unregelmäßige Verben. Zum Beispiel, ich habe gesagt, ich habe gemacht, ich bin gehüpft, ich habe getrunken, ich habe gegessen, ich bin gegangen. So there are four different types of verbs when it comes to learning how to form the correct perfect in German. We've already learned regular and irregular verbs, regelmäßige Verben, regular verbs, unregelmäßige Verben, irregular verbs. I told you last week in the lesson, irreg irregular verbs must be learned by heart. A lot of times the ending is en. Regular verbs are easy. They use the ge in the beginning and the t at the end. 
but both regular and irregular verbs can be formed with haben or sein. Okay, remember when there's a movement, like in gehen and hüpfen, you use sein. Ich bin gegangen, ich bin gehüpft. And today we will learn the other two categories. One of them is really easy. Und wir beginnen mit der einfachen Kategorie. We'll start with the easy one. Okay, Verben auf ihren are super easy to learn. So we have five verbs here. Telefonieren, to call someone on the phone. Gratulieren, to congratulate. Passieren, to happen. Diskutieren, to discuss or argue. And reparieren, to repair. Some of them even look a little bit like an English word that you already know. So take your notebooks and match the right verb with the correct perfect form. Okay, you can write them down like this and draw little lines or you just write them in the right order straight away. Take your notebooks and write them down, please. Okay. If you need more time, please stop the video. Otherwise, here is our solution. Telefonieren. Er hat telefoniert. Gratulieren. Er hat gratuliert. Passieren. Es ist passiert. Diskutieren. Er hat diskutiert. Und reparieren. Er hat repariert. So remember, passieren is usually a neutral thing, so something happened or it happened, so it's usually with S, not with ich or wir or er or sie, it's usually just neutral, S is passiert. Okay, write them down and then take a picture, please. So whenever I say take a picture, please do not take a picture of this video, no screenshots please okay i know my video already i want to see whether you're actually taking notes so take your notebook write down in your notebook and then take a picture of what you've written so i've written here ich liebe deutschunterricht so take a picture of this okay you take your phone you take your phone and you take a picture of your notebook Okay, and that is what you send me, please. No screenshots. Okay, so I said before, Verben auf ihren are easy because if you look at it, what happens is you get a T at the end. They lose the stem, E, N, goes away. All of them get a T and there is no GE in the beginning. Kein GE. And this is 100% every single time. There's no exceptions. Every time you have a verb like this that ends in ihren, they just get a T at the end of the stem. You still have to get rid of the EN, but that's it. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so then we continue. Okay, jetzt haben wir schon drei Kategorien gelernt. Okay, und auch hier seht ihr, Perfect mit sein kann auch bei Verben mit ihren sein. So, you see, even here, we can use the auxiliary verb sein in Verben auf ihren. Es ist passiert. Okay, wir üben. Tim A hat das Fahrrad gerepariert. B hat das Fahrrad repariert oder C habe das Fahrrad repariert. Und die Antwort ist B. Tim hat das Fahrrad repariert. I just explained to you no GE in Reparieren. Okay, so it's B hat repariert because Tim is he third person. Okay, 
Wir, A, hat Anna zum Geburtstag gratulieren? Oder B, haben Anna zum Geburtstag gratulieren? Oder C, haben Anna zum Geburtstag gratuliert? Die richtige Antwort ist C. Wir haben Anna zum Geburtstag gratuliert. I said before, the verb in ihren always get a T at the end, so it cannot be A or B. Und der nächste Satz. Eva hat mit ihrer Mama telefoniert. Eva haben mit ihrer Mama telefoniert. Eva habe mit ihrer Mama telefoniert. Und die richtige Antwort ist A. Eva hat mit ihrer Mama telefoniert. Alles richtig? Bravo! Dann machen wir weiter mit trennbare Verben. Was sind trennbare Verben? Zum Beispiel aufmachen, einladen oder zurückkommen. Think back to lesson, uh, unit number 7, when it, we talked about the birthday, you learned uh, trennbare Verben before. So it's those verbs that you have to break apart when you want to make a sentence. Aufmachen, ich mache mein Heft auf. Einladen, ich lade meine Freunde ein. Zurückkommen, ich komme heute zurück. Okay, so some part, the beginning of the verb, of the word, of the verb, the prefix is broken away, okay? And this is important for perfect and you will see in a minute why. So here are some um, verbs and we have five. Einkaufen, to go shopping or to do some shopping. Einladen, to invite. Zurückkommen, to come back. Aufmachen, to open. Abschreiben, to write something down in your notebook or to write something into your notebook, for example. So please write them down in your notebooks and then... Um, Match the right infinitive with the perfect. Okay, if you need more time, pause the video now. Otherwise, we continue. So, einkaufen, sie hat eingekauft. Einladen, sie hat eingeladen. Zurückkommen, sie ist zurückgekommen. Aufmachen, sie hat aufgemacht. Abschreiben, sie hat abgeschrieben. Was passiert hier? GE kommt in die Mitte. So if you look here, I highlighted the GE, one of the signals for perfect. I highlighted it in red. And why? Because it seems to be in the middle of the verb. Okay? This is one way to remember it. GE with trennbare Verben is in the middle of the verb, not in the beginning. Okay? So please write this down in your notebook. Take a picture of your notebook. Um, so, as I just said, it's one way. To remember it's in the middle of the verb, there's also another way to remember it, okay? So when we have the verb einkaufen, the stem of the verb is kaufen, and you know kaufen already. Perfect is, ich habe gekauft, and you can just think of it as the einkaufen is just extra information, it just specifies how we went shopping, for example, and then it just goes in front, okay? So the The prefix, the one part that we break away, it just goes in the front of the perfect form. Okay, ich habe eingekauft. So two ways to remember this and whatever is easier for you, you remember it like this. So either like this, ge is in the middle 
Or you remember, I know, the beginning, the suffix, it just stays in the very front of the verb in perfect. Whew, okay, now we finished all four categories. Alles klar? Alles richtig verstanden? So, look at our chart. We've done all four of them now. You see, haben and sein we can use with all four categories. We only have to think about whether it's a movement or not. But the forms of how to build the perfect, it depends on these four categories. So now please take a new page in your notebook. You can, um, you probably have to put your notebook like this, okay? Not like this, you use it like this to write down this chart. This is very, very, very important. You will need this from now on. So please make sure to write it down and then take a picture of it to show me. Yes, Miss John, ja, Frau Jun, ich habe das gemacht. Yes, I've done it. So, of course, you don't have to take a picture of the boy. Just write everything down. Make a nice chart. You can underline words, too. Um, yeah, so write it down in your notebooks, please. And again, this is also part of the homework. Whenever I say take a picture, you get points for what you've written down in your notebook. This chart is very big, so there will be a lot of points. So please do it properly. Okay, hast du das verstanden? Did you understand all four different kinds of perfect now? I hope so, because we'll practice. Jetzt üben wir. Also, die Eltern A hat Essen eingekauft. B haben Essen eingekauft. Haben Essen geeinkauft. Oder C haben Essen eingekauft. Was ist richtig? Und es ist Nummer C. Die Eltern haben Essen eingekauft. So, I just explained, GE goes in the middle of the verb and Eltern is plural. It's at least two people. Also, haben eingekauft. Okay, next one. Tom A. hat seine Freunde zu einer Party eingeladen. B. hat seine Freunde zu einer Party eingeladen. Oder C. hat seine Freunde zu einer Party geeinladet. Und die Antwort ist A. Ah, Tom hat seine Freunde zu einer Party eingeladen. Du hast gestern um 20 Uhr zurückkommt. Du bist gestern um 20 Uhr zurückkommen. Oder C. Du bist gestern um 20 Uhr zurückgekommen. Und die richtige Antwort ist C. Du bist gestern um 20 Uhr zurückgekommen. Remember, come back, that is a movement. You change your location, so we need bist. And zurückgekommen is the perfect form of zurückkommen. Okay, last one for today. Die Schülerin hat das Wort abgeschreibt. Hat das Wort abgeschrieben? Hat das Wort abgeschrieben? Und die richtige Antwort ist Nummer B. Die Schülerin hat das Wort abgeschrieben. Okay, so. Hattest du alles richtig? Bravo! Wenn nicht, guck das Video noch einmal und versuch alle Regeln zu verstehen. Wir sind fertig für heute. Vielen Dank für eure Aufmerksamkeit und bitte schickt mir eure Hausaufgaben per E-Mail. Denkt dran, schreibt vernünftig. 
Hausaufgabe Nummer 4 oder Nummer 3 oder Nummer 2 und so weiter. So, Dankeschön und bis zum nächsten Mal.